Are we alone in this vast universe? This is one of the frequently asked questions. There are billions of galaxies and billions of stars in each galaxy with trillions of planets. So do you think we're alone? Okay, disclaimer first, I'm not trying to mislead the news, but Pentagon officially releases three videos of unidentified flying object, in short UFO. Those objects on those videos are still unidentified. Some of them are saying alien visited the earth and some are saying that could be some secret military program. Many of us had already watched this video as it had been leaked before, but we were quite unsure about if it's real. But now the US government is saying those videos are genuine. Those objects were traveling at the hypersonic speed with no visible means of propulsion. It is still a mystery. They are calling the sightings as unidentified aerial phenomena. Back in 1950, a photo of UFO was released, so everybody was talking about it. Enrico Fermi, along with his fellow physicist friend, were having lunch discussing about the recent UFO. And at that time, suddenly he asked, but where is everybody? By that, what he meant is, Universe is filled with galaxies and galaxies have billions of stars and nearly all those stars have planets. Some of them can sustain life and ancient civilizations are believed to be advanced so they should have sent some signals or colonized the stars by now. There are so many possibilities and seeing all those possibilities, aliens should be everywhere. But why have we not found any aliens or heard from them? That's called the Fermi Paradox. In 1961, a huge supporter of extraterrestrial life, Frank Drake proposed an equation which estimates the number of planets that could have aliens in our Milky Way galaxy. It's called the Drake Equation. This equation is also accepted by the scientific community. I'm going to describe a little about every parameters here. N is the number of planets that could host intelligent species in our Milky Way galaxy. That's what we are trying to find here. NS is the number of stars in our Milky Way galaxy. There is about 400 billion stars. FS, fraction of stars suitable for planetary system. Out of 400 billion stars, more than half of them are suitable for planetary system. So let's take half, that is 0.5. Let me remind you, we are talking about the fraction here. And FP is the fraction of stars which actually have planets. So the scientists think that all of the stars suitable for a planetary system have planets, so it's one. Any is the number of planets which are Earth-like, which supports liquid water. Scientists estimate is from 5 to 15, so let's take a list number that is 5. FL, fraction of such planet where actually life shows up. Exobiologist says the fraction to be 1. FI is the fraction of such planet where some form of intelligence arises. They also expect this value to be 1 because of the evolution. FC is the fraction of intelligent species which develop the tools and advanced technology. They have taken it on 1 in 1000, 0.001. FW, fraction of species who tries to communicate to other planet, is also taken 1 in 1000. When we multiply this, it shows 1 million intelligent civilization in our galaxy is capable of interstellar communication. 1 million is a very huge number. But where are they? Why we haven't found any traces of aliens? Have we not tried to risk them? We are. We have been listening to messages through radio telescope more than 80 years now. But we haven't heard anything. Once we did in 1977 the wow signals, but we don't even know if that is sent by extraterrestrial life. It's never seen again and it remain unexplained. Not only we are listening, we are also sending intentional signals to other stars hoping to get the reply. In 1974, Frank Drake and Carl Sagan sent the message known as Arishibo message. It's a message of exactly 1679 binary digits arranged in 73 lines of 23 characters per line. 73 and 23 both are prime numbers which may help aliens to decode the message. It consists of the numbers, our solar system, DNA, a figure of human and some of the biochemicals of Earth. It's on the way to globular cluster, hoping to be heard by any kind of intelligence life. Lots of signals has been sent by now. And do you know that we can also send our message to space? 
There is this website named spacespeak.com where you can leave your message. They will encode your message and then send it to space in the form of radio waves. Once the radio waves are sent to space, they persist. It won't die a decay. If you have any message which you want that to live forever, even if you die, you can leave your message there. So for many years, when Earth will be no more, solar system will be no more, your message will be still traveling to this space. I have already sent mine, it's traveling at the speed of light, going far and far away. You to leave a message there, who knows one day aliens might also hear them.